Landry's got a chance for a return. Ball is out. The defender downs him as he's already on the ground. That makes it official. Landry's in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Real good field position here to start this series. McCoy's lined up in a single back formation. Should have had it. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Buccaneers official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him from returning. Back to you. And it's incomplete. It's way too early in a game like this, in this situation, to take a chance. Gonna draw for a screen, maybe just a straight ahead run, but don't turn over the football. It's third down coming up. The Bills need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. Harlan's there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. Well, he's got talent. This receiver can make the catches when you throw it his way. And I think his talent... The way offenses are designed and the rules of the NFL, it makes guys like him almost unstoppable. Makes the grab. Touchdown. The Bills lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. Going to start his return. Ball is out. The kicking team recovers, and here they go. That return's good for about 27. Well, one of the reasons why you put your fast guys on the kicking team because you want them to run down there and hit the returners hard. That was a great hit, causes a fumble, and they recover. First down at the 37. Pass is intercepted. He's brought to a halt. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. Danielle's got Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. The Buccaneers from the 32. Right, got it. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. The Buccaneers bring in an extra tight end for this play. Green is going to take the handoff now. Second down here. They'll just spike it right here. No, wait, it's, it's a fake spike. And they're going to throw. What a catch. When you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. inside the red zone. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Clearly, they didn't let the early 
deficit discouraged them. We're all tied up again thanks to that touchdown. Oh, shoot. Of course not. It didn't get to him. You know, this is a game of adversity, and nothing ever goes right, it seems like. But that was a nice drive. Puts him in, puts him in a spot right now where the game is even, and here we go. Hyde's got it. Taken down at about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. The Bills offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. At the 34, 66 yards from pay dirt. Second down and 10. The catch is made by Jarius Wright. Let's see if they can complete another one. This time, perhaps, for the first down. Third down coming up. Makes the catch. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Complete to Harvin. And that's David in on the stop. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Bill? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. All they're saying right now is that it's an upper body injury. But, guys, it's not one. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Ball was out. Nice job by the defense that time. Stopping a two-point conversion. It is so tough from the two-yard line. So many things to think about on the defensive side, but they were ready that time. Bills preparing for the onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. The Buccaneers coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very... And intercepted! And he's brought to the ground. Johnson, such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game, but how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. The Bills from the 37. Harvard's going to pull in the bullet pass. <laughs> My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time by him hauling in that pass. First down at the 44. The Bills now move the chains. How about the way he always locks in and concentrates on the catch? Man, he's got hands like glue. When you shake his hand, he can break yours because that's how strong they are. So not surprised to see him just reach out and just snatch the football out of the air. 
that's another reception, giving him two. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. First and ten. What a catch. Touchdown. Late in the first quarter, and they're stretching their lead out. It looks like they have it in their minds to put this game away early. Well, that's what they're trying to do, isn't it? They just want to get it over with early, just put all doubt, re just remove all doubt, I should say, from the opponents that you're in for a rough day, and you might as well just give up. Landry's got a chance to return this one. Brought down at the 38, and a run back of about 17. The Buccaneers offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go. Go out there. Be aggressive and see if you can score some points. Buccaneers still driving as the second quarter gets underway. First down here. Let's go. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. On target. Still the prettiest play in the NFL. The long arching pass down the field and watching a speedy receiver run right under it. What a throw, what a catch. to the line at the seven. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Touchdown and drawing close. And with that touchdown, they're not that far off the lead here early in quarter number two. Oh, hey, Jim, it turned everything around. Now they're right back in this football game and We have a review coming from the booth. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. As always, every touchdown is reviewed and verified, and it is now the word sent down. It is, in fact, verified for six. Pass the reception. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Gray's got it. And he is tackled down at the 38-yard line. That return's good for about 12. Timeout's called, and we're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. The Bills line up in a tight first half. The score's 20 to 13. First down at the 38. Looking across the middle, it's Clay. That's his first reception today. The Bills are looking good so far, Phil, and a lot of that has to do with the passing game. Castles on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. And they are all over Harvin. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented, and every time the football's thrown his way, he finds a way to make the catch. First down at the 21. Wright's got it on a pass that had some heat. 
Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is they, What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. Intercepted. And no return as this goes for a touchback. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. First down here. It's the old Marino play. A fake spike and looking to throw. If you're defensive back in the NFL now, you got to be alert for the deep passes down the field because not only do you got to play it well, you got to make sure you don't have pass interference. Let's go. The Buccaneers snap it at the 41. Makes the catch. That's reception number two for him. Well, they may be down on the scoreboard, but they have to be feeling very up about the way the passing offense has been working to this point, Phil. Yeah, they'll be happy about the offense when they go in at halftime. The coach is going to look at them and go, good job. Then he's going to turn all of his attention to the defense, knowing they must play better to give them a chance to win this game. Here's the first snap after the big play. No room to complete that one. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. It's the Buccaneers from the 32. Landry's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Two-minute warning. Now, as we come back to the field, we're looking at a defense trying to maintain a lead going into the break. First and goal from the three. And he takes off. Ball was out. That brings the play to an end. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. The Bills' offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense. Bell and out of trouble getting that turnover. You're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. When you're a quarterback, it's all about thinking on the field. And when you're not thinking, you're going to make mistakes. That when you drop in the end zone, you've got to get rid of the football quickly. He did not. He is sacked for the safety. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. Has the catch. That's another reception given to. Well, you saw why defensive backs can't sleep the night before the game. When they play against this quarterback, beautiful, long throw down the field for the big completion. First and goal. Has it. Touchdown. And as we near the half, the lead now is theirs thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, you know, how. look at that. Just think about how much that changes the mentality of both teams. One now all psyched up and emotionally feeling great. And the defensive side, oh my gosh, they are down and have to be disappointed about how they played on that drive. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Hyde's got it on the return. Base to work. Four kick coverage on the return. 
And now the offense comes on to the field, having to feel like it's just been given a big boost to confidence. What a wonderful return that time by the special teams. He's out in the open. He broke a couple of tackles, and it looks like he's going all the way, but the defense doesn't stop hustling. Nice tackle from behind and stops him just short of the touchdown. Well, Jim, that field goal puts him in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense, and what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. And a run back of about 17. The Buccaneers fell into an early hole, but now they've been able to recover here in the second quarter, and they're right back within sniffing distance of the lead. Yeah, they're right here. Listen, Gibble, anytime an offense gets hot, we know this. You always look at that offensive line. They are starting to dominate, and this offense looks good. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. Ryan Fitzpatrick under center. Second and ten. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Crucial foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a you know, a little slack because they're running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Green's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Green takes his spot in the backfield. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Touchdown of the game. A big touchdown right there. They're almost sure to take the lead to the locker room with that score. All touchdowns are big, man. They're all exciting. They all make you feel great. And right now, the offense, they are feeling great about what they did on that last drive. The Buccaneers getting set for the extra point. Actually misses the point after. The Buccaneers ready to kick it away. He'll have a chance to take off. The ball is fumbled. Tackles made. This game is still about hitting. When you hit the other team hard enough, that football comes loose. Nice job by the kicking team. They make the hit, and they recover the fumble. Great job. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's his first reception today. Fitzpatrick's able to show off the footwork. Wow, what a good job. Look at those feet. Like a dancer, gets himself in very good position to throw the football. Fitzpatrick's five for five after that completion. And as the second quarter comes to a close, we'll take a break for halftime before returning for the start of the second half here in Tampa, Florida. Thanks, Jim. I'm Larry Ridley, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Both the Buccaneers and the Bills are finding ways to get into the end zone and put points on the board. The second half may come down to who has the ball last. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Bills taking control early in the first. Here he'll look into the end zone. Now following the turnover, the hurry throw would be picked off. Plumberg since happy to come away with the pick, ending the draw. the pick offense comes out now quick pass and completion is made here and a quick three play drive ends with the score we're brand new at seven bills have it midway through one tight coverage here but the completion is made and he's going to go 27 yards for the score the fields on top by six all right larry thanks a lot second half just about to get underway here as the special teams are about to head back onto the field 
And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers call timeout, and they'll have two remaining. down at the 25 heaving it down the field nice catch that's reception number two for him the Bills good job that time moving the chains picking up that first down and Jim of course there's no time to panic in a situation like this I think they know that it's in the second half you got you're, you're down just a few points just keep looking for ways to get another first down and that'll serve your team well Castle's completion percentage, 70% on the day. Second down. Matt Castle with the long throw. Makes the catch. Touchdown. It's commonplace now. It's hard to even say the word great for a catch by the wide receiver. We see so many of them, but this one... That is a great catch. Hand off. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a... Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Jenkins has got a chance for a return. Gets out past the 30. Brought down near the 35. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. Looks like a penalty on the defense. Encroachment, defense. Still first down. Two tight ends on the field here. The Buccaneers will take the snap from the 40. The catch is made by Tim Wright. Wright's been the go-to tight end today, Phil, and really getting it done. Yeah, if you want a great passing offense, you need a tight end who can really force the defense to cover him underneath, and especially deep down the field, this tight end can do it all. Ryan Fitzpatrick throws the deep pass, and he comes down. No, the defender tips it out. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Second down after the incompletion. Green takes his spot in the backfield. Tip right with the reception. That's reception number seven for him. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities. What you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. They had to get back within range before this game got much later, and they have done just that with this field goal midway through the third quarter. Yeah, that's the positive, that they got back in the game. It's close, everything here in the third quarter. But you know what? Ball is out. He's brought down. And a run back of only a yard. Well, that's nothing but just, uh, that, that's just luck. That's all you can say. You're the return team. They fumble the football. It bounces out, and they get it back. they lucky there. The Buccaneers allowed a ton of passing yards on that last drive. Yeah, look, I, I'm not going to fault the players. I think the coverages that they used in that drive were wrong. 
They've got to change up this time to give the players a better chance for having some success. Harvin's undoubtedly been the top target for his quarterback today, Phil. Yeah, he has. And quarterbacks, that's what happens. When a wide receiver gets hot, hey, they'll start looking for him. And that's what's happened in this game so far here. First and ten. Down the field. Touchdown, Bills. Another touchdown throw by the quarterback. If you do not pressure this guy, he is going to get it done. No pressure on him. And just another excellent throw for a touchdown. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. It's intercepted. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. Foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're running so fast. They're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. Jenkins tackled down at the 38. That returns good for about 26. The Buccaneers put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. And, you know, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drives, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. they got to do better in that situation. If they all the way home and all alone, touchdown. By getting it into the end zone, they've evened the score with just about a quarter and a half still to play. Yeah, nice job. What that, Jim? That was fun to watch and to see this team under the pressure trying to find a way to tie it up, and they come through and they get it done. Exciting stuff. Got a tie game here now, and what's been a good one so far? The score is 37 to 37. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. The Bills head back onto the field with their offense. We're going to see if they can keep the scoring onslaught going as we've seen touchdowns on consecutive possessions here, Phil. Jim, these teams are so hot. And when you're hot like this on the offensive side, you just look at the coach and say, keep sending them in because we're going to make them work. That's interference. Defense. scrimmage the 36 first down at the 36 McCoy is gonna run with it now on the draw and he's tackled at the 32 yard line seeing these stats bill you really look at them and have to go wow because both teams are just playing so well on the offensive side of the ball i know that's what the fans are doing they love these type of games high scoring a lot of action they're having a good time i know this the defense it's the other way around they are having a awful time the bills from the 32 in completion here as he was looking over the middle Third down on the way. They bring in the extra tight end. There's a flag out. Carter's in on the tackle. Pushing a foul. Nothing to pass her. Defense. 
You took a few of these shots in your day. That's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player feel bad. You know, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. Mark him down for another reception. The Bills offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. McCoy has the catch. Bills are in the end zone. Touchdown. And with the fourth quarter fast approaching, that touchdown puts them in front. And what they did with that touchdown, they just put all the pressure on the opponents. The offense, they're going to feel that pressure when they go out there. Let's see if they can handle it. The Bills with an extra point try on the way. The point after is good. The Bills getting set for the kickoff. Landry's going to start his return. He's tackled right at the 36. And a run back of about 17. The Bills defense. Let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. First down at the 36. Down the field. The ball is charred out of his hands. Sometimes when you have a player with this kind of talent, you're willing to put up with a few drop passes because when he catches it, he has a chance of going all the way. It's a two-tight end formation. Second down and ten. Right, got it. On a pass, had some heat on it. Eighth catch today so far. The Buccaneers look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Fitzpatrick's completion percentage, 80% on the day. First down and 10. Has his target. Brown still down, so we'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. At the 22-yard line, here they come. Sean Green lined up in the backfield. Will go ground. Slashes to the left side. The Buccaneers offense tries to continue some momentum. Still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. Double tight end formation. Sean Green. Wide to the left. Going to be a penalty here. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. First and goal. Breaking huddle at the four. Second and goal from the four. Gets the handle here. Runs it across for the touchdown. And that 
touchdown ties the game just moments into this final quarter. It's shaping up to be a dramatic conclusion to this contest. I know one thing, it has fired up the crowd. There's no question about that. They are excited. They got a tie game here in the fourth quarter, and this is going to be emotional down the stretch. He's got a chance to return this one. Ball is out. They bring him to the turf. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Hassel's on the move. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. Right now, all they will say is it's an upper body injury and that he will not be returning. Back to you. Looking to go deep. Unbelievable catch. The Bills in a tie game have to like their chances the rest of the way with the way their quarterback is playing. Castles had a strong performance, and it's why this game is tied up at this point. Yeah, a couple of things we want to talk about about this game so far here today. The quarterback has been outstanding. He's made good decisions, but the off in his hands, complete touchdown. And they've taken charge of this game now. That touchdown giving them the lead here early in the fourth. And what you're saying to the other team is, hey, now you have to come to us. You want to win, they have to force the issue. This puts a tremendous, tremendous positive aspect for the defense going out there on the field. The Bills in position. They're going to go with the onside kick. And the hands team does his job as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. Buccaneers come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the plays that you need, need to be called because of the situations, and the quarterback has been hot throwing the football. Good job by the offense getting in the red zone. Now you're down some points. you got to find a way to score a touchdown. Touchdown. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right, he's got his third touchdown of the game. Tight ends are a position where you got to be able to do it all. You got to be able to block, run routes, and you got to be able to get in position so you have a chance to catch the touchdown pass. Good job by the tight end. Touchdown. The point after would give them the lead. Throws the pass. Really good job by the defense that time, stopping a two-point conversion because they do so many different things on the offensive side down the NFL. I think when the two-point conversion comes up on defense, attack the offense. Hyde's got it. Ball is out. Tackles made. And a run back with only a couple. What a lucky play that time by the return team. They fumble the football. Nobody's hustling, but somehow they find a way to recover their own fumble. A timeout charge to the offense. Looking at this comparison, Phil, it's fun to see these two quarterbacks going head-to-head -head in a tightly contested game. Yeah, so well played on the offensive side by both teams. The quarterbacks, they've been very sharp. They're on target with the football, and their offensive lines are playing very well. We McCoy's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Three ball is out. This one's going back the other way. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the foot. 
We have a review coming from the booth. Was the knee down, Phil, or was it a fumble first? I think what we need to do here, let's stop it when the knee hits the ground. And once we stop it, let's look at the football. Does he have possession of it completely at that time? If he does, then it's going to be down. The runner will be down before the fumble occur. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So that review came from upstairs. They're just doing their due diligence. That play on the field will stand. It was the right call in the first place. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Is it caught? Yes! The offense has the ball! Pushing the foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Roughing the passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely took two steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball. The Bucks are in for the score. Touchdown. Wright just scored his fourth touchdown of the day. And how clutch was that score right there, partner, when they absolutely had to have it to get the touchdown? Clutched by the offense. Now let's see if the defense can deal with the pressure. Can they go out there and answer the bell and finish this game off? We'll find out. Goodwin's got a chance to return this one. And the flag is down. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Grabbing the face mask. We see it almost once a week, and here it happens again. Well, a lot of times these defenders, I'll give them a, you know, a little slack because they're Running so fast, they're trying to tackle some tremendous athletes in open space, and sometimes, accidentally, you're going to grab the face mask. He's brought to a halt. The Bills just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. This is a time where the quarterback has to manage the clock. Has to be very careful. And he's in for the touchdown. That touchdown ties this game as we move into crunch time. Partner, who knows what these final moments have in store for us? Yeah, we don't know, Jim, but I know this. Keep the pressure on the defensive coordinators. His team takes the field. Go out there, do something they haven't seen before. Put the pressure on the opponent's offense and see if they can handle that. I don't think they can. The Bills lined up, onside kick coming up. There's a flag right there. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Nothing a coach hates more than giving them great field position with a kick out of bounds. Setting up now at the 44-yard line. The game is tied. Time is a factor. Mike Evans has the catch. Lines there to make the tackle. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. Now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you can do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross them up with a run. We'll find out. A little touch on offense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. Back now in this one, and time is running out here in the fourth quarter. Second and goal from the one. Powell's the one. 
Allen who made the big stop. When you get third and goal, a lot of times it just comes down to who's willing to fight the hardest. We'll find out here in a second. It's all about decision-making now as they work out of the hurry-up offense. Yeah, it's really up to the quarterback. Make sure to watch the clock. Don't get a sack and don't get to intercepted. Barrel, the ball is fumbled. A recovery by the defense. An interception in the fourth that can completely change the tenor of this game, Phil. It did. You know, listen, there are a lot of special players in the NFL, and we just saw a special play by a special player that got it done for them. The Bills decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. What a difficult spot to be in from here. Stands in the pocket. Pass is intercepted. Better late than never, Phil. Defense finally, Phil. I guess so, Jim. And look, the, the good spot here is it's been a bad day almost all day long, but the game is on the line. What do you do? You go out there, you make the play, and get the football back for your offense. They come to the line, and it's first down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Nice catch. Taking it all the way home for the touchdown. About the last thing the defense could afford to surrender at this point was a deep ball, much less the deep pass for the touchdown. You didn't even make the offense work for it. You gave up the long pass. The one thing you can't do in this situation Protect against the long pass, and they still let it get by. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. Goodwin's got it. And the tackle was made in the end zone. That's a safety. And a flag comes out. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. It's first down as they head to the line. receiver as he goes vertical and comes down with the football and the catch. We see these incredible catches every single week. Right now, the most talented guys in the NFL might be the wide receivers. They touch down Tampa Bay Bucks. And Evans, his second touchdown of the game. It's Patrick's completion percentage, 80% on the day. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. The Buccaneers with the PAT to come. An extra point is good. The Buccaneers kicking team come. Uh, 
Uh, this is one here where you had to just hold your breath because just after one touchdown was scored, there would be another one shortly right behind it. A high-scoring affair and a memorable day indeed. It really was. How exciting, really. The, the gym, it just, it was just, you said it, one big play after another. But it happened because both of these teams, man, do they have some superstars. So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long.